What's up guys, today we will be talking about another Fate Granother tutorial, but this time we will be featuring another aspect of the game. So before I begin, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, turn on the notification bell as we aim for our first 10,000 subscribers. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. Like I mentioned earlier, this time we'll talk about something a lot of players tend to skip completely. A quartz income so important that even for novice accounts can amount to the hundreds of quartz. As for this particular account, which is from a friend of mine, the result will shock you. This time we'll talk about interludes and rank ups or strengthening quests. For those that don't know what I'm talking about, let me explain. Those are special quests unlocked under certain conditions. The first one is having a servant that possesses an interlude or strengthening quest. The second one is having said servant at the right ascension level. For strengthening quests, it is always the fourth ascension. Lastly, Interludes require bond levels, but only between 0 and 5, and the only exception being Angra Manu at bond 10, so you can unlock said quests pretty easily. For the interludes, you get a new unique story for your servant, in case you love reading the light novel aspect of the game. If you don't, most interludes and every strengthening quest gives your servant a new skill or buff an existing one or even buff your servant noble phantasm, be it by buffing it with a new effect or simply increasing the damage. Now onto the best part. In case you don't care for neither story or buffs for those servants, you will be rewarded with a surprisingly huge amount of quartz. Two of them for most interludes and always two of them for every single strengthening quest. Remember that some servants have more than just one interlude or strengthening quest. Meaning, once you complete one, the other will appear on your list, obviously on certain conditions. Also, in your master missions, you can see that for every 10 interludes and for every 10 strengthening quests, you gain 10 Saint Quartz for every mission. Now for a quick math. This friend of mine is still in Babylonia and does not play very often, but he still has quite a number of servants like Jalter, Koyan, Merlin and even Summer Artoria Altar. I've played through every single one of his undone interludes and strengthening quests. He had 97 interludes that gave him 156 Saint Quartz. Since from those 97 interludes, he had 78 interludes that actually gave him Quartz. As for strengthening quests, he had 82. So he got 164 Saint Quartz. Also, let's not forget the Master Missions. 90 for the interludes missions and 80 for the strengthening quest missions. He already had 2 days of logins and the existing 9 quarts in his Caldea. Now we have arrived at a whopping 501 saint quarts in a span of just 2 days, doing quests like a madman. And let's not forget that most of those quests nets huge amount of bond points, so he also got pretty far in some servants bonds. The lesson is, never skip your interludes and your strengthening quests. You never know when will you need those saint quartz or a certain servant. If you found this helpful, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, turn on the notification bell, gift me quartz for summer comma, and catch you later.